piriformis. So it's like that sciatica is from, there's a muscle that goes underneath, it's underneath the bum, uh, piriformis, and just goes across from the hip kind of to the pelvis. Now, the sciatica can run through, the sciatic nerve can run through that. So again, always like pins and needles is just some nerve is getting irritated. It's getting hit and it's getting sent down. So if that is getting pressed on, um, if that's getting pressed on, it can cause that like sciatica pain. That's that's the other main reason. Um, generally, wouldn't be worse in the morning. Um, wouldn't have that stiffness or soreness. Can be sore if you're sitting on it a lot. Uh, what we do there is like just a tennis ball initially, but then like a hockey ball or a lacrosse ball into the middle of the bum. You'll find it. It'll be like if that's the area, there'll be a real ropey muscle kind of underneath. Like as you sit into your bum and sink down, turn your foot outwards. You'll see this like ropey line. Um, holding on that, it might start twitching, which is a great sign. It might start sending the pain down like you get, which is also a good sign and would be a good indication that your sciatica or your pins and needles is caused by uh, that piriformis syndrome. Release that off. Then the other thing you need to really do there is work on like glute bridging, like getting the glutes working. So lying on your back, having your knees bent up, lifting them up. I would always really encourage that if you don't have a back aware belt that I'm working on, like hand on your stomach, hand on your back. Make sure that if you're coming down and up, you're practicing that all the movement is coming through the hip joint as opposed to like a lot of people do bridging and they're like arching through their back more or they're rounding through their back more. So we just need to practice not having the movement through the back and through the glutes and really get them burning. Why that is important is like you'll always need to have some stability. Your body won't let you just collapse to the floor. So if if you get this stability through, um, if, if the glute muscles, the bigger muscles aren't, aren't strong or because we're sitting a lot, we're not activating them, are not strong, some other muscle will take its place. And the one around there is the smaller piriformis underneath. So that's like trying to do a job it's inefficient for. It's like asking a sprinter um, to do like a long distance run or a long distance runner to do a sprint job. It'll kind of do it, but it's not going to do it efficiently and there can be issues. So we need to get the glutes working way more. That's when, when people come in, say they have tightness in their bum or like back pain on one side with that SI joint. They're like, oh, I'm doing this SI joint or I'm doing this like glute stretch. And I'm like, you need to get those. You sit on your ass 10 hours a day. You need to get those glutes burning. You need to get them wo woken up. They don't need a 30 second stretch. They need like to be burning, burning. So then they will allow the uh, piriformis to relax off because it doesn't have to do that job. Plus then when you like do your, know, your hockey ball work or your, your foam rolling around that area, um, it can take that further pressure off, which then allows you to like relax and, you know, 